Hello everybody and welcome to this week's In My Mug. This week our coffee is coming from El Limon and it is the San Ramon. El Limon, San Ramon, I'm some poet and I didn't even know it. So welcome to Has Been Towers on a Saturday morning. Um, you may know this video is a little bit late this week. Um, we had a, a little bit of a problem with the video footage that got corrupted. Um, so I've had to re-record this. And it is the best in my mug I've ever done. It is like, it was perfect. I was singing. I got all the pronunciations right. Everything was great. And it turned out, well, you can watch it at the end if you want to see how bad it turned out. Um, but as luck should have it, I've decided because it's a Saturday and I want to get this out quickly and get it to you. That we're going to show you a little video of when Beto and Batillo visited us, visited us, visited us here at Has Been Towers. And don't forget, this week's coffee is the San Ramon and I'll be coming back after the video for a tasting. <laughs> So this week's In My Mug is going to be a little bit different. I'm joined by two good friends, Beto and Batillo, uh, from Guatemala, from San Patricio El Limon, um, a farm that we've worked with now. We were trying to work it out the other day, and you think it's six years, don't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, six years. Yeah. So coming into our seventh, seventh year of working together. And um, I was very luckily introduced to you guys by uh, the 2011 World Barista Champion, Raul Rodas. Yes, sir. Um, who is a mutual friend of ours, and he took me up to the farm one day and said, oh, you should meet these guys. And since then, I think we've become friends more yes. than anything else. Um, Beto and Batillo have been stopping at my house for the past few days. I'm very sorry for that. Nah, but, <laughs> thank you very much. But trying to return some of the hospitality that these guys have shown me whenever I've been to Guatemala. So tell me a little bit about the farm, Beto. Uh, how long have you been involved in the coffee farm? Like, um, yeah, just tell us how, how you came to own a farm. So it's a pleasure to be here with you, my friend. Uh, Stephen is a very nice person and received at home at uh, a few days in this week. It's a pleasure for us to be here sharing with him. Uh, good to work here with him, has been. Uh, we are so amazing to be here. But uh, we are working in the San Patricio Limon from 21 years ago, from 1987. And it's a family farm, and uh, it's growing up a little bit uh, in extension, in new varieties, and we are working hard. As you see, uh, today I, we are here with Betio, is my, my, my little son, I say. <laughs> it's not really little, but... Uh, it's, it's good to know that seven years ago we are working with Steve Layton. Steve Layton has been, it's a blessing for us and uh, we are so proud to work together and uh, our work is growing up little by little. Uh, San Patricio Limon is a very nice experience to work. It's uh, my father, Eritash, the way to work and do the things right and uh, do each day giving the better, doing our best. And that's the heritage that we want to give to Betillo and, uh, and my, my other uh, sons, of course. And uh, we are so happy because it has been, we work in uh, high quality coffee. Each day we try to do the best, is the best way to get the good results. Our coffee that is working in uh, San Patricio Limon in Palencia, Guatemala, is uh, family work. Do wherever is uh, included the most people who help us to work every day, planting, uh, fertilizing, whatever we have to do in the farmers, uh, the farmer, we do our best. Mm -hmm. But the most pleasure for us is to meet here in England with our coffee producer over there in Guatemala, and uh, from here, development to all of some other countries. Steve Layton, thank you very much ah, for receiving that. For, uh, yeah, not much good. people know something that, that I'm going to tell, but Steve, ja, Steve uh, Layton is a very good friend, honest people, 
and we are so happy to do business with, with your team. Pay, I, the check is in the post. I should no, pay you later. <laughs> you're not to give a check and to, to give the truth. <laughs> the most people must to know that kind of people you are oh, no. and we are so happy to meet you no it's great so 21 years ago you took over the farm yeah was there coffee on the farm then yeah no we started coffee from 20 years ago yeah my father started early in his life but we start with my brothers and now with my sons and my wife and my family and uh, we are each time uh, doing our best. It's very because, nice. Because, well, because Palencia is not really somewhere you tend to see. It's not one of the regions of Ana Cafe, for instance, is it? It's not one of the like. It's not like Antigua or you know uh, Coban or. So why coffee in Palencia when there's lots of other places around that grow coffee? Because we are from Palencia. We are so proud to be in Palencia, and we have the conditions in Palencia. Uh, to produce coffee, we have good soils, with weather, uh, with conditions, with altitude, uh, with altitude, with altitude over sea level, and uh, we have all the conditions. We live there. We go. We live in the middle of the farm. This is a very important thing that the people must know. We love to do coffee producers, and we work hard, and uh, we are so happy producing high quality coffee. And you are very proud of Palencia. Uh, so much so that you're the mayor, current mayor of Palencia. <laughs> and the mayor in Guatemala, you have a lot of responsibilities and a lot of um, expectations from your people for what you're, you need to deliver. Um, so w why is that something that was important to you? So, uh, not much people know, but uh, when I was a child, I walk without shoes because we belong from a poor family. Uh, we are uh, nine brothers, and uh, I know how the poorest, I mean, how the poor people live. And all in my mind, from when I was a child, I want, I want to change the way the people live, the, the life the people live. And it means that I'm so... Uh, uh, trying to do, to help them in education system, in health system, and uh, for they get better conditions like, yes. like, like we have today. And uh, I'm so proud to be a mayor. I'm, I'm a mayor by three times, 11 years. And I've been a president at all of the mayors in my country too. Yeah. And uh, political is not really easy because you must to try to be okay with the most of the people, but it's not easy. It's, it's quite hard. dangerous. In, it's so Guatemala dangerous too. too as well, Guatemala is, a... is a dangerous country, but we still am on a step, and we gonna do the best as a mayor, as a producer, whatever we we do, we are gonna try to do the best way. Very good. Going back to somebody we mentioned a few minutes ago with Raúl, he helped you in the early days, kind of look at different ways of processing coffee, didn't yeah. he? He came and kind of shared some of his experiences with you and you came up with this black honey kind of natural process that's something you've developed even further. Can you tell the people at home what the difference is of the black honey natural process to uh, any other process that you would do? So starting the, when we start, when we work, when we went, I mean, when we meet so Steve Layton, <laughs> when we <Sorry>. meet, <laughs> When we meet Steve Layton, he's a smart guy and always is doing new things. Yeah. And he asked for a new experiments in our milk uh, in Guatemala, human milk. Uh, he asked for honeys and naturals. And I remember some project uh, called Chloe. And, uh, <laughs> project <so> Chloe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a nice story, history. But uh, producing naturalists is a new way that, uh, to produce coffee. And the, role, the results that we have are very nice. It's different flavors you met with new experience in the coffee. And uh, we have the, the conditions to do those uh, kinds of producers. Uh, it's uh, nice to, to have honeys and uh, different process. Usually the most of the coffee is washed 
but produce, for example, Pacamara, Pacamara Scani is, is amazing flavors. To some things is to see the coffee in the milk, but uh, it's very different to meet with our coffee here in the uh, has been roastery and uh, getting a new flavors and a new ways to work. The coffee is amazing. We are so happy to share with you, my friend. And it's really fun that the, uh, the mill, the, mm -hmm. the, where all the processing happens, that's kind of managed by your brother, isn't it? Ah, yes, my brother is Felix. He's like uh, my second father. I, I love him. He teach me to work too. And uh, he, at this time, is caring about the milk. He's caring about the process of the benefit. And he knows everything about the coffee. If you want to know something about the milk, uh, you must ask to him. Yes. <laughs> Felix, Felix is a legend as well. I love yes. Felix too. He's amazing. Yes. He's so hard working. And every time you go to the mill, He's always working. I've never seen him not there working. Yes. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's really good. But lots of the family are involved in the, in the farm. Uh, tell us a little bit about the family's involvement. Yes, it's a, as, I, as I told you, it's an heritage from my mom and my father. And that's what we are doing with Betio and his, my other sons. And, and of course, my wife is uh, very involvement in, in, in this one is she help us she support us to to work she's the heart of the heart of the farm yes. <laughs> uh, everything uh, revolves around yeah. Marilyn. Everything. she knows but she's so sweet and she works very hard to help us and push and uh, he's pushing uh, supporting us and uh, he's a nice sponsor to us yeah Marilyn and uh, of course my son my son my sons my daughters Everybody is involved in, in the process. That's why we think at this time, we think that be behind a, a good cup of coffee, there are uh, good workers and at this time, good family too. I think very so. Much, very it much. results, uh, uh, good coffee means good family. And uh, a couple of years ago, you've expanded the farm. You bought a neighboring farm. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing there and the varietals you're planting? And we feel as a partner of Hasibin. I, I I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, very much. That's why in Guatemala and Palencia we are doing our best. Uh, it means that we are uh, looking for new varieties and extend a little bit the farm and uh, try to do innovation in our uh, culture uh, process. is very important mm -hmm. to keep the soils to have new way way to produce coffee is very important because the environment is a is a fiance. I don't know if the fiance is the word, right, right word, but it's, uh, we are doing our best uh, doing innovation in agronomic practicals and uh, putting uh, experimenting with the new varieties. And all the time we are doing, looking for new experiences and uh, we are yes, standing yes. on the side. And Batio, is, you've gone and learned some agronomic uh, yes. You went to college to go and learn agronomic uh, studies. Yes. I um, studied uh, agronomic st uh, studies uh, in San Patricio. We're going to try to be better steps, better steps all the time. We're going to try to be uh, new jobs and realize a good coffee yeah. for yours. For well, San Patricio, the important is you have a good experience with all coffees and uh, you know to be a you we're gonna be a good coffee producers and to be a good coffee qualities well you certainly succeeded at that so far yeah. guys thank you so much for the amazing coffees uh i did that on behalf of not just me but the people watching the videos to um keep producing what you're producing we love it uh we're very happy to be part of the san patricio el limon family um, and um, yeah, I can't wait to come out in the new year and uh, come and see all of the innovations and all the new developments on the farm. So uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you to thank you, you, my friend, Steve. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you for all of you. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, I know we've used it before, but it's so cool when you get producers to come here at Has Been Towers that I think it's definitely one worth uh, getting out again. And um, yeah, I love Bet and Batia, they're just amazing, kind, lovely people. Um, 
In fact, I'm going to be seeing them in a few weeks' time, so I'm really excited. Uh, I think it's uh, two weeks today I fly out, so very excited for that one. But let's, let's get into the coffee. So I think it has a really distinct chocolate taste to it, but it's also a distinct chocolate bar. I love it when you find chocolate bars in coffees because it's just it's a really easy descriptor to use. So for me, that kind of nougat caramelly chocolate all mixing together reminds me very much of a Milky Way. I think it's also a lot to do with the texture of the coffee because the coffee is very kind of like wet and fluffy, um, but it's, you know, it's not heavy and thick. It's kind of like really nice and sits beautifully on the palate. There are other things in there. I think you get a little bit of like pear-like uh, taste to it as well. Uh, you know, kind of like think like almost like underripe green pear, that kind of bite and that, that kind of acidity. Um, and then finishes with a lovely almond uh, nuttiness on the end. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for putting up with us, throwing this one together. Um, sorry, there's no uh, Instagrammer of the week and all the rest. That was in the amazing one that I did um, that the hard drive decided to corrupt. Um, if you want to see the output of that, um, at the end of this, I'm going to play it for you. But in the meantime, do remember, life is too short for bad cops. So we'll get into the cup in afterwards. Yeah, oh, it's empty notes. Uh, <laughs> uh, at the time, I uh, bought myself a tent and ate uh, on the Leon. And then the other guy was like, you know, just like this big. I came running up to me and was like, oh, knew very few people. He was like, he'd got this rather luxury. He said, oh, we've got the Lexus. No, no, no. We've already got plenty of money. money to buy another farm. The other it has a whole heap of natural forest on the planet. When you're sitting there, 16 to 8. And is... But what has SL28? SL28? And...